Ark Encounter, you're familiar with this, an attraction that promised to bring millions of people and dollars into northern Kentucky is now celebrating its newest exhibit. With more than 600 people who attended today's ribbon cutting, we asked, is the Ark living up to its promises? Nine on your side's Roseanne Aragon joins us now. She has the answer. This is the Ark Encounter, a multi-million dollar attraction expected to bring promise. It's unbelievable. The whole th the whole work. And today is the opening for their new exhibit, Searching for the Truth, Why the Bible is True. It goes through the rest of the Ark, it's all about Noah and his family. This is a graphic novel approach to reach a contemporary culture with the Christian message. The $150 million investment promises return. We're here for three nights. We um, booked a uh, lodge. Leaders expect the Ark will bring $4 billion in direct revenue over a decade and 1.4 to 2.2 million people each year. Bookings for the summer are absolutely through the roof and our travel agent that books a lot of the tour groups coming in uh, said that they can't even get hotel rooms from April through June uh, from Cincinnati to Lexington. In the seven months it's been open, attendance has been just over half a million people. But he says the economic impact will roughly be a quarter of a billion dollars each year. We asked a local motel four miles from the Ark what they think. June the 7th, about the middle of the end of October, we stay packed about every night. Kept all the business around here in the community. They're doing renovations now because of it. Before this would be a small town, but now more people are stopping in. And this longtime restaurant says in our meal period, we're probably double thanks to the Ark. And with 90% of Ark visitors coming from out of town, we want buses and uh, you know, they uh, we're, we're making accommodations to bring those in. These businesses will do more than stay afloat in Dry Ridge. I'm Rosanna Aragon nine on your side.